Hey everybody, a little while ago someone ordered 20 acrylic poured Christmas ornaments in red and one other color. So today I will be showing you those videos and if you stick around to the end I will also be showing you how I package my ornaments. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you at the end. Unfortunately, I forgot to record ornaments number 5, 6, 7, and 8, so those will not be included in today's video. Okay, so it has been a little while since I painted the ornaments. I have varnished them. I usually wait about three weeks after painting them to varnish the ornaments. That means the varnish won't do anything funky because of moisture left over. And I use Krylon UV resistant spray to varnish these and then just put the cap back in and they're all ready to go. So now I just take my ornament hanger, push this in. You can also get S-shaped ornament hangers. This is usually what I like to do, but I have these instead. And I get one of these boxes that I got from Amazon. If you search up ornament boxes, they usually come up or maybe party favor boxes, but the ornament boxes, I get four by four and they're about the perfect size. So I build the box by just taking it, pushing in the tabs. They're pretty easy to build, pretty fast. And then push it down. Now I have tissue paper here. It's about 12 by probably nine inches. And I have these large sheets of tissue paper, so I basically just take one section off of the four sections. Because you don't need a lot of tissue paper, just some to make it look nice. And also put a little bit of wrapping around the ornament to make it safe. So I take the tissue paper, whatever color you want. It can be random or it can be corresponding to the color and I take the ornament and put it in the middle basically making a nest and pile it in. So it makes a nice little fun surprise for the client. Probably not too much of a surprise since they ordered these and then you close it and you can either take some string, tie it up nice, or just simply tape it. Or I usually don't do anything to it because for this kind of packaging, they just pick it up on my doorstep and then bring it home and it'd be have a fuss to put some tape here. 
so I put it there, put it with the rest, and we're done. Now, if I were shipping these, I would either take all of the ornaments that they ordered and then put them in a box or a large envelope, uh, maybe wrap it a bit more with bubble tape, bubble wrap, not bubble tape, maybe wrap this a bit more with tissue paper or bubble wrap, and then just ship it in the box. Or there are special thicker cardboard ornament boxes that are more expensive that you can seal it all up and then ship directly in the box. You can also do that. I would suggest if you do that, do take this bubble wrap it, make it really secure so it doesn't jumble around as much. As it is, it jumbles around a lot, but not much where it's really hitting hard on the ornament and the ornaments are a pretty flexible plastic, so it's fine. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you later.